you want to release a new book with a big launch. The first week your book is live is really important. When a new book of yours comes out, you want to drive as many initial sales as you can. You can do this with email marketing, social media posts, and ads on Amazon's advertising platform. If you are able to drive a good amount of early sales, Amazon's algorithm can take notice of this and begin recommending your book to a lot of people who are interested in your genre for free. Enabling Amazon to start recommending your book can be an extremely powerful marketing benefit. An isolated one-day spike in sales can be interpreted by Amazon as an outlier event versus a sign of genuine reader interest in your book. You want steadily increasing sales over a period of at least five days. Not only will this help your book hit a bestseller list, but make the Amazon algorithm begin recommending it. In the lead up to release, you should build a sense of excitement about your book. Here's a sequence that can work. Two weeks before release, show the cover of your book and provide the premise. A week before release, send out a link where people can read the first chapter or chapters for free. Then a day before release, let people know your book is about to come out. And when it does, you're also going to let them know about a surprise. You can use this tool for your free chapter previews. I recommend you upload one to three chapters. You would do this in PDF format. Keep in mind these preview chapters must be less than 10% of your book. If you want to sell a book on Amazon, Amazon does not allow you to give a portion of your book out for free anywhere on the internet unless it's less than 10% of your book. A surprise on release day can really help grab people's attention. Two types of surprises are a two for one or a giveaway. In this example, when my book Frozen Dream came out, I also gave people a chance to win a $100 gift card on Amazon. Whatever you use for your surprise, I recommend you create a landing page for it. Be sure you include links to the Amazon sites for all of the different countries where you expect your readers to be coming from. Keep in mind, if you are going to offer a giveaway, you cannot make the purchase of your book necessary for entry into the giveaway. According to generally accepted giveaway guidelines, you can mention the giveaway and the release of your new book side by side and package them as part of the same release announcement, but you can't force a purchase. Once you have your landing page, you can share the URL via email and social media. You want the surprise to only last during release week. The limited time nature of this will motivate people to visit your URL as they hear about it, which will help drive sales during your important release week window. Because you want steadily increasing daily sales through release week, if you have an email list, you're going to want to send your book release and surprise email to an increasing number of subscribers each day. For example, if you have 10,000 subscribers on your email list, you should avoid emailing all 10,000 of them on release day. Instead, you can do 1,000 that day, then 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. On day five, you can send a follow-up email to all of the people who received the previous emails and did not click your link. If you're going to run Amazon ads for your new release, the same concept applies where you should be appealing to more people daily through release week. You can do this by simply increasing your budget each day. In this example, we start with a $100 budget on day one and go up to $500 daily on day five. Unlike email and ads, social media doesn't give you a straightforward way to increase your daily reach. So don't worry about a crescendo effect with social media, but you should post about your new release daily 
for at least five days. On day one, you can tell people your book is released and provide a link to the release and surprise landing page. On day two, you can remind people about the surprise. On day three, you can provide a review quote for your book. On day four, you can video yourself discussing your book. And then on day five, you can let people know the release week surprise is ending soon. Here's how all of this can come together. If you follow this strategy, you'll have a good chance of hitting a bestseller list by day five of release week. If you have a relatively large social media following and email list, you may not need a large ad budget or any ad budget at all to become a bestseller. Without a large social or email audience, ads become more important.